Hey fellas, me Trapper here, and today we've got a question about beaver lures, and uh, I get this a lot. And basically, the question is, what's the best beaver lure? And you know, that's sort of a sort of a broad question, and there's no correct answer. You know, the best answer is what works for you. But when deciding on a beaver lure or lures to use or to buy or to try, a couple of questions that you need to answer yourself first is going to narrow things down. And number one is, are you up north or are you down south? And the reason is, is I found that beavers up north react a lot more violently and aggressively to caster or caster-based lures than beaver down south do. They just don't hit it as hard here. Uh, so if you're uh, trapping up north, you're going to go with uh, caster-based lures as your primary lure. Also up north, your seasons tend to be shorter, your trapping seasons tend to be shorter, whereas down south, your seasons are longer, the weather's warmer. Uh, here in Alabama, there's no closed season. I can trap in August if I want to, uh, or if I'm so inclined. So all of that um, makes a difference. So the first question is, is if you're up north, uh, then you need to look more at caster-based lures. And if you're down south, my advice is to broaden your look and not just consider caster lures, but look at other classes of lures, such as food lures and curiosity lures. The other thing is uh, about the north-south divide is I found that lure makers who live down south well that's where they test their lures and develop them and lure makers that live up north that's where they test them and develop them now a good lure maker is going to test his lures everywhere uh, but generally speaking as a general rule and there are exceptions to every rule i found that southern made lures work better in the south and i found northern made lures work better in the north that to me that's common sense um, so that's the first thing is is where are you trapping the the next thing is is what time of the year are you trapping um, in the colder months when the beavers are in breeding season they're going to respond better to a caster based lure now you get down here in the deep south and you get out in uh, july august when it's 100 degrees and they're going to ignore a caster they're simply going to ignore it you're going to have to go to a food base or a curiosity based lure so those are the categories that you need to figure out first and when it comes to manufacturers I do most all of my trapping in the deep south and I keep coming back I've been doing this for over 15 years now and I keep coming back to the same guys over and over and those guys are Paul Dobbins Clint Locklear and Bob Young of Fox Hollow Lures those three lure makers I have never found a bad lure from any of them. Not just beaver lure, but any lure. Um, so those are the, my three primary lure makers that I buy from and that I use. I've used uh, other lures uh, that have worked fine. Sweetwater Flattail is a good, good lure. It, uh, from my understanding, it comes out west. But day in, day out, year in, year out, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Paul Dobbins Backbreaker as a caster lure, and I'm going to go with his uh, Beaver Plus as a curiosity lure, and I'm going to go with uh, his wood chipper as a summer food lure. So out of Paul Dobbins' lures, those are the three that I like. Now with Clint Locklear, I'm a big fan of his lures, and uh, everything that he makes works well, at least everything that I've used. His Enrager is uh, an excellent caster-based lure. Uh, I haven't been able to tell a great deal of difference between Enrager and Backbreaker, um, but you know it always helps to have multiple lures on your line so that uh, your beaver uh, don't get um, accustomed to a certain smell or they don't get feel for, fearful of a certain smell. Uh, but really, in my opinion, Clint's best lures are his Delta Red and his Flat Tail Call. Uh, the Delta Red is a good lure, and I always get good results with it, but it's expensive. And I think Flat Tail Call is his most unique lure, and it's not a caster-based lure. Um, it's what I would classify as a curiosity lure. And uh, I think Flat Tail Call is probably the best change-up lure that I've ever used. Uh, it always gets results, and it's a very unique lure. Um, you know, I can't say enough about flat tail call. I, I really love that lure. Then when it comes to uh, Bob Young at uh, Fox Hollow Lures, and they're sold by Minnesota Tramp. Uh, Bob's from Georgia. I've met him, and uh, he's, a, he's a good lure maker. 
uh, his Damadam is a caster based lure and year in year out that stuff just plain works it just plain works um, then he makes a, a curiosity lure called pond drainer uh, I've had pretty good results with that so uh, you know if you're looking for caster lures and you're down south check out backbreaker check out enrager and check out Damadam. if you're looking for a, a curiosity lure look at beaver plus look at flat tail call and look at pond drainer and if you're looking for a food lure uh, look at clint locklear's uh, beaver buffet um, that's a that's an excellent lure and look at paul dobbins's wood chipper and those are great summertime lures when they're just going to ignore caster now i also get a lot of questions about uh hey meat trapper how about if i just make my own lure you know what's wrong with using caster or sack oil absolutely nothing nothing is wrong with that at all that stuff works great um, there are times doing adc work that you actually want to take the caster from a particular beaver from a colony and use it to attract the uh, other members of that colony um, there are times when you don't want to use a caster based lure at all and just sack oil works great um, you don't want to overpower them with the with the caster based lure so uh, you know there's nothing wrong with using your own uh, caster glands uh, oral sacs and, and making your own I rarely do that I simply don't have the time the other thing and I'm just going to be honest is I found that a professional lure maker is going to add additional ingredients to their lures and when I use something like enrager or a damadam and I put it up on on a vertical wall I will actually see scratch marks where the beaver scratched and clawed to try and get at it and uh, I just don't see that when uh, using just straight homemade castor and oil mixes uh, your results may differ everybody's results are going to be different depending upon where you're at and where you're trapping but for me the convenience uh, and the ability to change up lures and the change up scents so that if I come out to a place like where I'm trapping today um, I may run Damadam week number one and then when I come back on week number two I may run Enrager and uh, then week number uh, five when I come back after a couple of week breaks I'll uh, put Backbreaker out um, that way uh, you're not hitting them with the same thing over and over again so that's another uh, reason to go with a professionally made lure so anyway I hope some of this helps uh, and answers some of these questions you know uh, what's the best beaver lure that's sort of like saying what's the best pistol or what's the best uh, rifle caliber for deer hunting uh, you know it depends on the size of your deer depends on are you hunting in thick woods or open fields you know it just depends but uh, I've given you what I use and what I've used for years and all of the lures that I've mentioned, they have never, ever, ever let me down. So anyway, I hope this was useful, and uh, thanks for watching. Let's go trapping.